good, wonderful, beautiful morning party. And here she comes. Here she comes. Hi, baby. So the snow is kind of melting. It is supposed to be 52 degrees today. And we are up super early after getting up super early yesterday for my procedure. Now it's time to get up super early today for Eleanor's procedure. And then for two weeks, I'm not allowed to let her do all that. She has to stay calm. So that's going to be fun. Ready to go to the vet, baby? She's like, heck no. I want to go. I want to have fun. Come on, we're going to go get you fixed and a gastro pixie. Let's go. Mm -hmm. She's wooing up a storm. She thinks she's getting breakfast. Oh. No. We can't have breakfast. We got to go get spayed, baby girl. I, know. I wish we could explain to you that uh, this is not going to be a bad thing. Yeah, you'll feel better in a day or two. Yeah. She's gonna have no idea why. I know, and she's so sensitive, it makes me so nervous. I know. Like, you're probably one of the most sensitive dogs we've ever had. Next to Oakley. Yeah. Next to Oakley. And Oakley was more of like an anxiety sensitivity. Eleanor is like a you hurt my feelings sensitivity. Yeah, I know. She's like, like but <laughs> do I get to go this way by myself without any of the other dogs? Uh, you do. You ready? Let's get this done. You be good. I understand it's not it's not your turn. <laughs> Listen, ma'am, listen. You have had more turns than anybody else in the past, like, four months. So you're not allowed to complain about not getting to go. That one has had the least amount of turns by herself. So if anybody should be complaining. Yeah, if anybody should be complaining, it's that one. Be good, we'll be right back. What happened? It's so weird, there's no Eleanor here. We didn't bring her back, she gets to get all of her procedure done. They're like, wait, where were you? I, yes, I was at the vet's office. I was at the vet's office. I was. I was at the vet's office. She's like, okay. No, wait, she's not out there. You're the cutest. She's not out there. She'll be back soon, I promise. Now we gotta prepare for two weeks or ten days of recovery with her. Fun stuff. What is this? Oh, good stretch. We got a box! The next portion of today's video is sponsored by our friends at Pet Cube, and today we're going to be showing you the Pet Cube Bites to Light camera, which this is going to come in handy, keeping an eye on Miss Eleanor after uh, she gets home from being fixed, which we actually, I, I thought you might try to open this. We actually just got the phone call that uh, we can go pick her up in a little bit. I can't open this with one hand. You want to help? I'm going to help get your nose under there. Get it under there. Okay, then let me do it. Ta -da! So this is the Pet Cube Bites 2 Light camera, and we're gonna open this thing up and get it set up. And if you can't figure it out, it is a treat tossing camera, which these are always so much fun. So we're gonna open it up, get it set up, and show you how it works. This is kind of cool. I saw these in the package, and I was like, oh, what is this? These are actually how you control the portion amount of treats in the machine, so you can do a lot of treats, a little treats, or depending on the size treats. That's kind of cool. I like that. And the treat dispenser actually comes off. Makes it nice and easy to clean. So that's pretty neat. We're gonna plug this in. I'm just gonna plug it in over here for now and play with it until I figure out exactly where it's gonna go. It's probably gonna temporarily go in the office while I have Eleanor in there to keep an eye on her during her recovery. Wait, you are so certain that something's coming out of here and you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Let me finish setting it up. All right, so as I said, this isn't actually where we're gonna keep this. We're probably gonna move it somewhere else, but I just wanna test it and show you guys how it works. So it shoots out treats, there's a camera on it. Apparently you can live stream with it, you can record footage on it, and I will show you guys some real-time footage out of this as well. But right now, got to load it up on treats. So we figured out how to make it throw treats and the dog's already figured it out. Oh yeah. They threw it way back there, they didn't even see it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's too funny. They're like, wait, what? On the app, you can throw it like a little ways as well. Nice. Let's see if I could try to throw it a little less. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, She's like, whoa, there's a treat. Is that, is that fun? They're like, oh my gosh, is the treat tossing camera is the greatest thing in the world. Oh, here it goes again. Oh! I was just saying, <laughs> but you didn't even turn fast enough. You did. So it has a bunch of different levels for how far to throw it. You can see all that right in the app. 
It has night vision. You can schedule it to dispense treats. So like if you're gone, you could just be like, oh, dispense treats every once in a while to keep your dogs distracted. Oh, I like this one. This one's fun. I think they figured it out. Is that where the treats come from? This is why these are great. Memphis is like, I'll be the best behaved dog ever. I'll just stare at this the whole time you guys are gone. That's it, the whole time you're gone, I'll stare at this. Did she even blink? No, I don't think she even blinked. She's like, this, this is what I'm staring at. This is, stop talking and just make another treat come out of here. <laughs> oh my goodness. So yeah, like I said, I think I'm gonna put this in the office. Which, I'm gonna be in the office most of the time with Eleanor, but if like, I have to walk out of the office, it'll be nice to be able to see kind of what's going on with her in there while she's recovering, and then from there we'll prob probably put it somewhere else in the house. It's best if you have it about three feet off the ground for the treat tossing, but uh, that's pretty cool. I, I like this. This one's pretty cool. Yeah, I, I like it. So if you guys are looking for a fun treat tossing camera, the Pet Cubes Light 2. That's a pretty cool one. I'll put some links and some information down in the video description below for you guys. I love it. She's just like, I'm, I'm not moving. How come it's not throwing more treats? I know they're in there. So this clip that you're seeing here was actually taken with the camera itself. And I think it turned out pretty good. You can definitely tell that the dogs know that the treats are coming out of this machine. I like that it has a really wide angle view though. It looks really nice. And uh, we didn't have the living room lit up as well as we could have, but this still did a really good job. And as you can see here within the app, you can do a lot of different things with the audio, the video, your notification settings, there's a treat schedule. So the app itself has a lot of different features that you can go through and change for your camera. So this is a screen footage recording that I took from my phone to kind of show you guys what the interface looks like. As you can see, there's two way audio. You can make it so your pets can hear you, you can hear your pets. And then of course the little bone to throw the treats and you can change the distance of the treats. It's pretty cool. I kind of like this one. Oh man, remember the recovery room for Miss Memphis? So you guys know we got rid of the futon that we used to have in here. I actually gave it to my brother and his wife for the kids. Um, we have a queen size mattress in the spare bedroom, but of course it's too high. This is just about one step up. So for the next at least 10 days, depending on how long till she has to have her stitches out, this will be now the recovery room for Eleanor. This works out pretty good since our bed sits so high, she won't have to jump up and down. So we'll hang out here in the office for a few days and this will be where we sleep. I kind of like the way this looks better than the, than the uh, futon as well. Are you still looking for treats from that camera? This is like, I'm totally still looking for treats from that camera. The vet just called and said that Eleanor did amazing. They said she was the perfect little patient. They actually said she's being nice and quiet, which is weird to me considering she's the loudest of the three currently. <laughs> but they said we can go pick her up in about an hour. So pretty soon here, we're gonna go get your sister. Oh my goodness. She's gonna have to wear a little surgical suit. She's gonna look so cute. But we're gonna go get her pretty soon here. She did good. What do you think? She's like, yeah, of course she did good. She did amazing. All right, we're gonna go pick her up. Well, hello, beautiful. <laughs> What'd you think of that? Yeah, you made See, it. See, they said I was the best dog of the day. You seem like you did pretty good. I think she did. A little bit yeah. of a sore belly. We gotta get your surgical suit on when we get you home. Yeah. You might Keep not it like clean. it, but we'll see. You won't have to wear it too long. Mm -hmm. Just a couple weeks. 10 days. 10 days you get your stitches out. What do you think of that? Ooh. Like, oh, I don't know. This is, I'm <laughs> feeling kind of woozy, guys. Right. Kind of woozy. Let's get you home in this rainstorm. Yeah. Not even Oof. snow. 41 and rain. Get us home before it freezes. Yeah, it's dropping too. Yeah, it is. Raindrops are falling on our heads. <laughs> okay, girls, you have to be gentle with her. Mainly I'm speaking to you. Look at your sisters. <laughs> oh, actually you can probably leave her collar on because I'm gonna have to mm. use it to walk her. Yeah. I'll find her other one that's clips on and off. Don't go down them steps. Oh. Come here, baby. Okay. Eleanor, this way. She's like, no, I has to pee. All right, well, All right. we'll let you out <laughs> there. Hi, little tail. She's like, no, thank you, I'm leaving. I don't wanna be here. 
All right, down the steps you go. Kira, be nice. Oh, it's so sketchy out there. It's so icy, you gotta be careful. Might have to put some ice cleats on for going out there. She's so out of it. So we got her little surgical suit as well. So we'll be putting that on her after she comes back in. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Why did Jamie slip on the ice and Eleanor slipping on the ice? This is crazy. Get over here to the grass. You guys are making me nervous. <laughs> She might not have to go potty. You, ma'am, need to be nice. Be nice. I know. I feel like that's the way we should make sure that they remember her. Right. Kira can get so crazy sometimes when dogs come home from the vet. She gets like overbearingly sniffy, where she's like, I gotta sniff everything about you. Oh, Memphis. All right, girls. Get back. Calm, calm. Get back. Don't push her. Don't push her. Yeah, you can check her out. That's where that's where she had surgery, Marie's. Okay. There you go. Slow. There you go. Good girl. She's like, I don't know she's what's okay. going on. This is weird. She's okay. All right. Come on, girls. Yep, she's Kira. okay. Kira. Okay. There you go. You checked her out. Good job. We're going to chill out for a minute and get your surgical suit on. So Kira had a cute pink one when she got spayed. But Eleanor gets a blue one, because I just didn't think pink was... The, what? You're all right. <laughs> you get, you're going to put this cute thing on. That's the back, I think. Just, yeah, that's the back. And this is the bottom. Flip it over. Daddy's going to put this on you. That like, No, don't like this. <laughs> yeah, there you go. And this is so she can't lick her incisions. It protects her, her belly. So you see how it's kind of tight around the top? But it's loose down here, so it's actually designed to breathe. What do you think? I put it on her a few times before this, so don't think she's going to freak out too much. I don't think she's going to... I mean, right now she's like, what is going on? Yeah, she's getting used to it, too. She's like, huh. Watch her belly. Oh, yeah. How's that? Good fit? Not too tight? It's very stretchy, so even though it might look tight, it's really not. Is it good? Okay, would you like to come see your recovery room? Come on, let's go. Come on. You have to walk in it. <laughs> have to make it one less tight, maybe? You, you gotta walk in it, honey. Um, I don't think so. Fluff this. I'm done. Come on, Eleanor. Come on. Don't jump on the couch, though. Look how cute you are. You're so stinking cute. All right, we'll let you get used to it. You can't hang out in here because you can't jump on the couch. I love you. I do. Look at that! Oh, yeah. She's like, oh, perfect. She's like, oh, oh get my own bed. Yeah, you get a bed too. What do you think? She did walk down here. It just took a yeah. minute of convincing. Don't start. Yeah, no roughing house. She just did the thing. She's doing it. Kara. She's like, what? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm a perfect little angel. Do you see me? All right. I guess we're going to chill out in here. You're adorable. I love you. Go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Well, she can't be feeling too bad because she's now she's bellies up. She's like, this is great. Let's just stay here forever. <laughs> you are really cute in that suit, I will say. Very cute. And after just a few minutes, we have sleepy dog. Almost a sleepy dog. She opened her eyes because I started talking. And Memphis sleepy dog. Nice and calm. That's what we want. And in 10 days, you'll get them stitches out and you can be back to crazy self. But we need to make sure you heal. My pretty girl. Look it! Ah, oh, I didn't make it. <laughs> I was trying to rush down and grab the camera. It was at the end of the hallway and I'm still not walking that great. But Eleanor just ate half of her dinner. We're going to give her a little bit more later. She is on an anti-nausea medicine to uh, hopefully help her keep everything down. But, uh... She's already waking up a little bit more. I thought she was going to be super sleepy all night, but she's doing better. She's looking for more food. Is there more food? In like an hour, I'll give you the rest of it. She didn't get any breakfast this morning because of her surgery, so I'm sure she's hungry. Soon, I'll give you a little bit more in a little bit. They said I had to wait a little while to feed her. So as long as that stays down, I'll give you a little bit more in a little bit. What do you think of that? She's like, um, I would like more right now, please. Right now. Well, geez. You know we didn't put the recovery bed in here for you two. You know it's in here for this little girl, huh? She's like, guys, I'm already feeling a little bit better, but I'm still really whiny, and I just really want to be close to mom. You hear her whining? 
She's like, I just really need to be here. I'll help you. Get up here. Come on, get up here. Come here. Come on. You could do it. You could do it. I believe it. Hello. I believe in you. Get up there. Come on. Come on. There you go. You got front feet up. And are you going to do it? You could do it. I believe in you. you you've already gotten up there a couple times. It, okay. It's going to be one of those nights, huh? I mean, on a good note, she's actually feeling pretty good. She seems like she's doing pretty good. These two have been pretty concerned about how she feels and don't want to leave her side either. What are you doing? You could also lay here. You were just laying here before I turned the camera on. Are you leaving? See you later. Bye. Well, I have a feeling it's going to be a long night. Ooh. Oh, she laid down. All right. Well... I'm gonna shut the lights off and go to bed because uh, I have a feeling, I still have a feeling it's gonna be a long night. She's been a little whiny. The drugs are starting to wear off. Hey, baby. She's like, it's not so bad. It's not so bad. It'll be better in the morning. Like, you won't feel so, yeah, you won't feel so gross in the morning. I will snuggle you all night if that's what it takes. It's not like we don't do that every night anyway. Look at them tafers. Her tooth's just hanging out. <laughs> All right, there's enough room in here. Everybody get up here and uh, we're gonna go ahead and call it night. We hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As always, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive, dream big. We will see you again soon. Good night, audience.